Hello friends, this is another walk and talk. A little late in the evening, probably 8 p.m. here, but um, it's the beginning of summer, so it doesn't look very dark. And uh, I'm going to board a very popular subject these days. If you are into the news and the current affairs, we have had um, a presidential and other elections in the United States where none other than Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump, has won once again a landslide victory in the elections. So uh, in the United States, they have got what they call um, popular vote, which is basically counting all the numbers uh, of voters, uh, he won that, and why I say that is that it's not the real victory. The victory lies on to um, a college or whatever they call it, votes, and even there, he that's where actually the victory is. And apparently, they you have to have two hundred seventy to win. I guess there is maybe 270 times 2 plus 1. I didn't count all the seats there, or the votes, electoral votes. But he won basically, so far, I've checked, uh, they have got what they call the sort of like a deciding uh, or key states. They do decide actually who is going to win. Uh, there are seven. I want to remember them off the top of my head, but I can look from the coast to coast. So I think I can see Nevada and Arizona. He's leading, but they haven't sort of called them off yet. I'm watching on AP or uh, AP uh, website, but maybe he had. I haven't watched the last two hours. But uh, otherwise, there's a Georgia thing. There's a, up, up in the north, Michigan and Wisconsin. And the Pennsylvania was uh, probably the biggest. In actual fact, when he won Pennsylvania, they all, all, all the media called uh, Trump as the next 47th president because it was quite a deciding vote. I think they've got a 19, so 19, that's a lot of uh, electoral votes, hard to catch up. And I think all he needed that time actually was Alaska with the three and uh, traditionally Alaska has been always a Republican state so it was guaranteed in a sense but there was a still Michigan and Wisconsin where he was uh, leading but also Nevada and um, Arizona are still hanging there but he is leading still so there you have it there is obviously error of uh, uh, how do you, do you call this one? Like a breaking down on the left side of politics. A bit of hysteria if you ask me. I don't think the majority of people have so much to lose whether Trump or Kamala Harris was to win the election. People just get very hyster hysteric, uh, probably for the, the clout or the views.